What's up everybody, short video here. I'm gonna show you exactly how I eat to get 100 grams of protein on a cooked vegan diet and on a raw vegan diet. I'm gonna show you two options. One is a low calorie day and a high calorie day. So in case you're trying to gain weight, or you're trying to lose weight. And this is an approximation for someone who weighs between 150 and 160 pounds. If you weigh less than that, well, I'll give you an equation to figure out the amount of protein you need. And that equation is you take your pounds of body weight. So let's say you're 135 pounds, 135 times 0.65. And that's what you get 87 grams. So the reason I, I'm getting 100 grams of protein is because I weigh 160 pounds. So that brings me to 104. But here's what I eat. Okay. So on a lower calorie cook day, I'm getting 2100 calories. And I'm getting 103 grams of protein. All of my minerals are met. All of my vitamins are met. My omega-3 to 6 ratio is spot on. Perfect. Everything looks tickety-boo great. So I'm having bananas. I'm having one banana. I'm having spinach. I'm having lettuce. And the spinach and lettuce can be juiced. It doesn't need to be eaten. If that's a lot of fiber for you, just throw it in a juicer and drink it. I'm having Daily Green Boost. If you want some Daily Green Boost, head over to tedcarboost.com. It's T-E-D-C-A-R-R boost.com. It has the ultimate mineral supplement. I'm getting hemp seeds, three tablespoons, cilantro, 12 stalks of celery, two cups of green peas, a cup of quinoa, a cup of buckwheat. And you might think, oh, that's a lot of quinoa, it's a lot of buckwheat. But look, at the end of the day, it's only 2,500 calories and you're going for 100 grams of protein. So let's get it in. A Brazil nut to make sure we're getting all of our selenium. Because if we don't have that Brazil nut, look what happens. Watch this. It goes zero Brazil nuts. And then, oh, wow, we still get enough selenium. How is that possible? Oh, well, not quite. <laughs> We're a little short, 98%. I was going to say, every time you add a Brazil nut, you just blow past the the uh, daily required minimums. And now, look, we're at 262%. So one Brazil nut makes a huge difference. And then a little dash of sea salt, uh, some B12, some vitamin D, and that's it for the day. And the vitamin D and B12, of course, is a supplement. So that's that. And then if you want a higher calorie cook day, you want more calories trying to gain weight, Hey man, eat a couple more bananas, uh, same spinach, lettuce, hemp seeds, three tablespoons, two Brazil nuts now, I double it up, um, two cups of green peas, daily green boost, a couple of buckwheat, a cup of quinoa, that all stays the same. We're just really modifying, uh, we're throwing in a couple more bananas and we're having an avocado for dessert. So that's the only real difference here, plus a couple of Brazil nuts. I wouldn't go too heavy on the Brazil nuts, you can actually get selenium toxicity because they're so high in selenium, so keep that in mind. Um, so that's cooked food. If you want to do 100% raw, totally possible as well. Here's a 2,400 calorie day on raw where you're getting 100 grams of protein. Uh, the way we do that is two bunches of spinach, not just one, um, two, bun two heads of lettuce, uh, red pepper, five tablespoons of hemp seed instead of three, throwing in a tablespoon, a tablespoon of almond butter, and then we're getting most of our calories here from watermelon and cantaloupe rather than the quinoa and buckwheat. Um, two Brazil nuts, three cups of coconut water, 10 stalks of celery, five tablespoons of flaxseed, and then of course the daily green boost, B12 and vitamin D supplement. Uh, and again, comes out to a perfect day. Look at all that selenium, 438%. Uh, the proteins are all fantastic. <clears throat> the uh, omega-3 to six ratio is amazing. Look at that, 15 grams of omega-3, that's beautiful. And it's nice to see no deficiencies happening here. If you wanna go lower calorie, you might be like, oh, what if I go lower calorie? That's too high calorie for me. What if I go low calorie? Will I still get enough protein? Well, here's 1,960, so 2,000 calories. And look, you still get enough protein. In fact, we're getting 104 grams. Um, and all the vitamins, all the minerals are met beautifully. So the only difference is instead of having uh, fewer greens, we're having three heads of romaine and three bunches of spinach. And you can juice that. You know, you don't need to eat all that. It's a lot of fiber for some people. But if you're in a juicer, that's about, you know, just over a liter of juice. I can knock that back in the morning easily. Red pepper, again, you can juice that too if you want. And we're getting a lot of our calories here from uh, cantaloupe. So a couple of large cantaloupes, and then two Brazil nuts, four cups of coconut water, five tablespoons of flax seed, five tablespoons of hemp seed, and uh, 12 stalks of celery. And you can, you, can, you can blend up the flax seed and hemp seed too and make milk, so nut milk or seed milk in this case. So you don't need to eat it on its own. Throw in a couple of Brazil nuts there too if you want. And add, you know, some uh, celery to it if you want as well. But uh, you just blend it up and drink it if you want. And then Daily Green Boost, B12, and vitamin D. So that's it. That's how you remain high in protein 
and that's how you can do it either high calorie or low calorie if you're going to add more calories to any of these days i wouldn't add any more fats i would just add more fruit so I'd just eat more bananas more um more throw in some dates throw in some grapes peaches plums nectarines any of your favorite fruits but use this as the template use this as the base and if you don't like certain foods you can swap them out if you don't like lettuce have kale if you don't like red peppers have uh something else like there's you don't like cantaloupe have honeydew if you don't like coconut water you're crazy because coconut water is delicious uh, if you don't like flaxseed have have chia if you don't like celery have more coconut water uh, if you don't like quinoa and buckwheat i don't know how it's possible but i'm sure you can do pretty well similar with things like millet things like amaranth as well so keep this in mind and if you're wondering what app this is it's called chronometer Hope you liked this video. If you did, I will see you at the Canada Vegan Fest. You can head over to canadaveganfest.ca right now and get on the wait list. Uh, if you want more information about the festival, you can go to canadafruitfest.com. It'll redirect you to canadaveganfest.com. And uh, here you can see a bunch of testimonials from what people have said in the past years. Some videos of past years and see what it's all about. Really, really cool festival. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you there. Take care. Peace out. Much love.